In this video, we're going to talk about where the planks would break for the decking, how far they would need to be spaced away if you cannot get full length materials. If you have a 20 foot deck, 20 foot long, and you can get 20 foot planks, great. If you have a 20 foot long deck and all you can get are 10 foot long planks, well, this video just might help you out here. I like to space my breaks at least four foot apart. And um, that actually might be a code for some other types of construction like roof sheathing or patio, something like that. On a deck, it might not be. I don't know if there is a code. I've never found it. Um, I think that you can actually go one board, um, space them one board and go back and forth. If that's what you wanted to do. Two boards would probably be okay. What we have here are 16 inch center um, joists. They are spaced apart 16 inches. Sometimes you're going to have two foot spaces. Your joists are going to be two foot on center. So you would just make it two boards instead of three boards. Give you an idea here. And the break would be halfway on the joist, of course. Here's what it would look like when we put a few of the boards together. These are 32 inches uh, in between the breaks. You can see we got two joists. The break is right here and the break is right here. They're not four foot. So the pattern here is simple, it repeats itself. You have a board here. This one's a little longer. This one here is a little longer. And then of course it goes back to the same board. This one's a little longer. This one here is a little longer and then repeats itself again. Now you can do it with two boards. Here we have two boards where we have the break on the joist and then the next one is over and then the next one here is over here. Take another look at it here. They can line up however you want to look at it. You line, line these up like this or you can look at it as you have this board, this board, and this board and then of course it repeats itself again. The double planking again, two boards. I don't think you would want to go three boards. Um, you probably could get away with it, so four boards too, but uh, I've never seen that before. A lot of times we just see um, two and then two and then two, and then of course the pattern would repeat itself again. Now keep in mind that these are only examples. You can get creative, um, really creative when building decks if you want certain types of patterns. You want to look at something a certain way or you want it to finish a finish um, to have a certain type of finish on it so but each break usually creates a problem you know like I said if you can get longer boards get them I understand if it's a price thing or um, you just can't get them in your area wherever there's a break it tends to over time the one board might warp and lift up at the edge you wouldn't have that with a solid piece of lumber um, so keep that in mind limit the breaks to as few as possible in your deck. If you have a 40 foot deck and you can get 20 foot lumber, great. If you have a 40 foot deck and all you can get are 12 footers, hey, got to work with what we have. Here's something else that might work. Space one board, one board, just going to go one on each bay. And again, this gives you a pattern here. I've seen this done plenty of times. So when someone says, hey, you have to space them, every four feet or 32 inches. Um, that, I guess that would all depend upon your local building authorities, uh, city building department, county building department, something like that. Just providing you with stuff that I've actually seen done. So another thing which gives you a nice pattern. Again, can you double the boards up? Yes, this would be another pattern. Take another look at it here, close up, half on the joist, half on the joist. And that is it for this example. Okay, what do you do if you have a longer deck? Something like this. Again, you can repeat the pattern. You can have a longer board, a smaller board to a smaller board and repeat this pattern this way and then use the same length lumber in between and that'll give you a nice, um, that will can give you a nice pattern here. You can see right here, we have a board here, a board here that's a little longer, one here that's a little longer. But these boards here, these three, 
and then of course these three here can be the same length. Um, they can be 16 footers, for example. If you have 16 inch on center lumber, you're gonna need to keep it in four foot increments. Um, four foot, eight foot, 12 foot, 16 and 20s will work. But on two foot on center, you can use anything, eight footers, 10 footers, 12 footers, 14 footers. So 16 inches on center to get your brakes to work. Like I said, you're going to need to use lumber that is uh, divides into four foot, not two foot. So have a, you start with your boards again, the same pattern, and then you can use the longer lumber and go as long as you need to. So here's here would be the other 16 footers. This right here would be the next set of 16 footers until we get to the end where they would stop here and they would be a little smaller. So anyway, I hope that helps. Don't forget to check with your local building authorities um, with the information in these videos. They might or might not work on your project. And if you use this information and you think, hey, this is great, this guy knows what he's talking about, but your engineers, architects, or building department uh, officials or inspectors don't like it, then that's not going to work too well. So remember, these are just examples to give you some ideas. Um, if you're going to build a deck without an inspector, this stuff might uh, work okay. Uh, but if you're going to build it with a, you know, some, you're going to get some permits and plan something like that, ask them, ask them for what their opinion will be or what their requirements are for the deck plank spacing and breaks.